Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden. I am a photographer and digital artist and welcome to another five minute tip in Photoshop. Today we're gonna to be looking at colors and glows and how I use colors uh, to enhance my pictures. So I've got this picture right here. This is a picture I took of a model who is out in a field praying and then I've got this monster that I drew with uh, just a bunch of different brushes here. And uh, this is the starting point. This is what I, I've, um, this is before I start doing any type of color grade or glowing effects. Uh, this is what I have. Now, since I'm gonna be doing a glow, I'm gonna be adding glows to um, her back here. And uh, they're kind of gonna be radiating off of her uh, her skin and her shirt and kind of you know fighting against the monster. So the very first step I want to do, anytime I have glows in the image, I wanna make the image darker. So I just do a levels adjustment on the entire image and just make the image darker. That way I can start uh, illuminating different parts of the image. So to get the glows on the uh, the model here, at first I uh, added some edge light. So I just did a mask of her and just painted a little bit of light right on the edge of her shirt. And then I added some light streaks that are coming up off of her back as well. Those are pretty easy to do. You just wanna get a brush and uh, just draw like right on her back, just a nice little line here, and then get your smudge tool and then you can start uh, just dragging up uh, little streaks here and uh, make it look like there's little light rays coming up off of her back. So the smudge tool is great for that. Just draw a brush, use your brush and draw a line and then use the, uh, the smudge tool to make those. Once I have both of these, uh, these streaks and this edge light going, then I can start adding uh, some color dodge effects to the image. So to do the color dodge, uh, what you want to do is make a new group and then change that blend mode on that group to uh, color dodge. And so just change that blend mode right there and put a new layer inside of it. And so I was you know, thinking for the, the, the colors to be nice and blue and kind of a nice cool color. So I just put that layer inside of that group and I started painting right on uh, the edge of uh, this, this woman right here, right where those lights are coming off of her of her shirt. And I just kind of drew some blue coming up off, you know, radiating out just like that. Then I made my brush smaller and I started painting like right on the edge of this monster, like where the light would hit, like the fingertips, you know, right there, like under on the arms, underneath the chin area, and then even part where the, uh, the eye is at. But just drawing some blue lights uh, coming up off of her uh, skin, off of these glowing lights to make it really uh, bright in the center of this image. Now, once I'm at this point, you know, I can make a decision, you know, what direction do I want to go in? Do I want a nice blue color like this, which I think looks pretty cool? Um, or do I want to kind of tweak um, the color grade? And so I played with different options here. And one option that I seem to like was a gradient map. And uh, I choose this uh, nice red to orange gradient map and I change the blend mode to hue. And that turns all of the blues into the image uh, into that nice warm orange and red tone. And so you might like the blue better, you might like the red better, um, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to turn everything red and then uh, that would be my new starting point. Everything is red, but then I want to start to bring back some of those blues, especially in the shadows. Uh, but this was the first step I did, a gradient map with a nice orange to red and then change that blend mode to hue. After I did that, I started adding uh, other adjustment layers. I did a selective color adjustment layer here. You can see where I've uh, uh, selected the blacks and I've just added some cyans and taken out some yellows. And as you, you see before and after, you can see the black parts of these images. Uh, I'm making it a lot more blue. So the mo majority of the image is red. It's got these nice warm tones from that gradient map, but I wanted to make sure that some of the, the shadows had some cool tones as well. Then I did a curves uh, adjustment layer as well. And so I added a little bit of contrast back and I also made a little bit more blue uh, when it comes to like these little smoke trails and everything but you can see that still the brightest part of the image is this nice uh, yellow color but then the the vignette the darkest parts of the image surrounding it have a little bit of a cooler tone so I'm letting those oranges and those uh, cool tones work together 
So once I got to this spot, I'm pretty much done with the image. And uh, I think that this is a good color grade. I also did one more selective color where I just kind of added a little bit of purple uh, to the, uh, the shadows there. And then I added some debris. I had uh, some pictures of some bokeh right here. I changed that to color dodge. And I also had a picture of some dust on a white background. And I just changed that to multiply. So now you have all these little black spots coming up off of the monster, which I thought looked pretty cool. And then I had a picture of some water. This is just a water texture. I changed that to lighten and then brought the opacity down and that just calms those blacks down. It doesn't make them solid black. But guys, that's pretty much it. That is my, um, that is my strategy for color grading. This is our before and this is our after. So I hope that you enjoyed this little quick five minute tip in Photoshop on how I approach color and glows. And uh, guys, have fun creating and thank you so much for watching this video.